welcome back to Fireplace Story. I'm Mrs Charlotte and I look forward to sharing this book with you from our home to yours. Today we're going to be reading Aquadog Flames, written by Lisa van der Walden and illustrated by Alison Mutton. Now this is a book all about how man's best friend, a dog, helps to put a fire out. We learn lots about fire safety and emergencies and we've got a great activity that goes along with this book. Do stick around to the end to find out the details. If you'd like a copy of this book, why don't you have a look in the description below? We've put a link. Maybe you already have this book at home. Why don't you go and get it and you can read along with me. Let's get started. Aquadog Flames. Out on the farm to keep himself cool, Aqua would plunge in the dam or the pool. Aqua would swim and splash all about, until one day there came a bad drought. Drought means that it hasn't rained for a very, very long time. And this happens a lot in really hot countries, like Australia or Africa. The rain didn't fall and with no water supply, the tanks became empty and the land bone dry. The dam turned to dust and the pool dried out. The crops and the grain all failed to sprout. Poor farmer, poor aqua dog as well, nowhere to swim. But early one morning, as the sun rose high, an orange glow streaked across the sky. The hot winds blew over the barren land and the spinifex grass rolled across the sand. Then, all of a sudden, the bushland set ablaze, bringing smoky fumes and a cloud of haze. The flames were angry and moved with a roar as the winds blew in stronger from the shore. The animals ran as fast as they could to escape the fury of burning wood. The snakes, the emus and the jumping kangaroos fled to the paddocks with the cockatoos. <gasps> All of those poor animals. The sheep were frightened and huddled together as the flames grew bigger with the changing weather. The crackles of heat were felt all around as glowing embers speckled the ground. And those glowing embers can start a fire. Now, what was Aquadog to do with the fiery flames still sweeping through? He ran to the farmhouse and barked at the door alerting the farmer to open the boar. Off Aqua ran to the fire hose, rolling it down with the end of his nose. Before the flames could burn down their home, the farmer drenched it with white water foam. <gasps> you see, it's getting much closer to their home. Hurry, Aqua! Quick, hop in the truck, cried the farmer, not knowing Aqua was stuck. <gasps> the poor dog was surrounded by flames so high he could barely move or he would die. <gasps> poor Aqua, he suddenly stuck in the middle of the blaze. With fire and flames flaring all around, a whole Aqua dog deep down in the ground. Those paws for swimming now dug a big funnel to escape the fire through an earthy tunnel. What a clever dog. He's digging into the ground to get away from the flames. Out, Aqua bolted to give the farmer a hand as the fire hose blasted the flames to the sand. Together they battled the angry fire until finally 
the blaze began to retire. I think it looks like they've been up all night tackling this blaze. As the fire fizzled and the smoke slowly disappeared, the farm was in ashes, looking its worst. The land was all black, the shearing shed gone, the animals were injured and the sheep looked shorn. Aqua looked down, his head hanging sad. Don't worry, said the farmer, I know it looks bad. Aqua rested his paw on the tired man's arm. We can rebuild the shed as well as the farm. We have each other. We can always restart. The most important things in life come from the heart. So the dog and the farmer worked side by side, rebuilding the farm and working with pride. In such a short time, black turned to green. The animals flourished. The farm was pristine. The fires brought heat, darkness and fright, but the bond of friendship brought hope and light. Time helped all of nature to mend with the help of a farmer and man's best friend. What a lovely book. Aqua saved the day. He alerted his man's best friend, the farmer, and they managed to put the fire out. Now, like we said at the beginning, we've got a lovely activity that goes along with this book. Do you know who to call if there's a fire? Well, in the UK, we need to call 999 and ask for the fire brigade. Download the activity in the description in the link below. And there's a great worksheet on knowing who to call when there is an emergency. And also remembering where you live. That's really important when you need to tell the emergency services. If you enjoyed this book, do remember to hit the like button and do subscribe as we release a new story every week and you'll get a notification. From our home to yours, until next time, bye-bye.